7:55 a.m. We just got 97, which means on scene uh, with a tractor trailer fully loaded that uh, appeared to have ran off the road here into the center divider. We are southbound SR86, uh, south of 66th Avenue. Uh, so I already got on scene here. Um, this isn't really what we were expecting. We were told that it was a relatively simple just pull. Um, guy just pulled off the side of the road and got stuck um, like you guys have seen us do a lot of times But as you guys can see he's kind of far off the road and it doesn't look like it's gonna be too much of a deal um, But we are gonna have to wait for CHP to show up uh, so we can get this uh, number one lane here and uh, winch the winch the unit out um, so with that being said, I already called CHP. We're waiting on them um, But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start rigging up the the uh, trailer so that when CHP gets here and we uh, get the okay to turn around we are all good to go so let's go ahead and get started all right let's go We got no traffic right now, so that's good. Got to be extra careful. We're always careful, but specifically right here, hey, uh, on the other side, just on the other side, a uh, trucker was killed the other day when he was out of his truck. Not a tow truck driver, but still, concept, concept's the same. Sorry guys, got a phone call. Let's go ahead and drag this 20 footer over to here. Side of the axle here so it doesn't slide inward. Make sure to leave enough slack so it doesn't bend any of the brake components in there. get us to here and then we'll put a clevis so it can travel freely along our bridle and then we'll go straight through that right there and that will allow us to hook our cable to it 
without having to worry about our cable hitting this edge right here. So that is the plan. Get a big clevis. So, this is uh, something that's pretty critical that we do, and I'll show you guys. So, you can see we have a spinning bolt, correct? And so, rule of thumb is whatever is gonna be traveling, you don't want it here because it could, as it travels, loosen this bolt. So for example, if I put this bolt in this setup here, and we're at an angle and it starts traveling, this bolt could easily unloosen itself and come out potentially. So what we're gonna do is we, since that's the traveling end of this, we're going to put the bow of the shackle into that side. And then we're gonna put the non-traveling because this is gonna be static. This, this will not be moving. We'll put this section over here. Take our chain, hook it like that. And now, when CHP gets here, we're ready to go, basically. Just make a loop out of that, put our hook in, and start pulling. There's CHP, perfect.
Ready to go? Uh, just steer. So release all your brakes. Everything released? All right, so the main thing is we want to be, we want to get your trailer up on the road, right? So we're going to want to steer uh, the other way, right? But yeah, no, like that, right? I'm trying to think. <laughs> Yeah, okay. But the key is we want to do that as fast as possible, but we don't want to turn it so sharp that it's plowing dirt. So, so I'm going to stand like right there in your mirror and I want you to watch me, okay? Whatever way I tell you to go is uh, the way I want your trailer to go, okay? It's so like if I tell you to go that way, you know to steer the other way. Good? All right. All brakes released? Okay. She's coming, that's good. The, first, the hardest pull is the initial. That hook should be flipped, and it was when I set it up, but it looks like it twisted itself, so. But I'm gonna keep going, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. We got CHP here, so. Chains are looking good, they're not hitting anything they shouldn't be. You can keep your wheels straight from now on. Are you Yeah, this is gonna play out here. Got a little bit of side pull on on the rotator. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right. I'm gonna have them slowly start catching. All right, now I want you to slowly start catching your trailer. So turn to the right and slowly start catching it, all right? Slow. All right, looking good, looking good. It's okay, just sliding a little bit, that's okay. Chain is centering itself, that was what was happening there. All right, go ahead and set your brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward and then we'll do it again, okay? I'm gonna release my winch and pull forward a little bit more.
good. He's catching the trailer. Cause we, well, the last thing we want is for the trailer to go too far and it go out of the cone pattern. That would not be good. So hopefully he catches it in time. trailer coming this way now okay probably start sliding the trailer here in a second Go ahead and do a little less right. Go ahead and turn a little to the left, see how you're plowing. So yeah, there you go, just a little bit. Perfect, see how it's rolling now? All right, now you can do a little more to the right. There you go. I'm gonna make sure we're still in the cone pattern here. Should be good. There you go, it's coming up on the asphalt. I want you to aim those trailer tires right here on the edge, okay? catching it start catching it there you go go ahead and catch it hard left 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 i don't want you ending up in the other lane so go ahead and start coming to the left there you go hard left hard left uh, still plowing go ahead Okay, hang on here. Hard left. Can you go left? How close are we to my truck? Yeah, let me, uh, cause you're gonna go into the next lane right now, so hang on. If you straighten your wheels, go ahead and straighten them. Okay, can you, uh, do you have your power divider locked in? Should be like a little cross symbol for your axles. Yes, is that locked in? It's on uh, silver, I guess. Go ahead and uh, hold that, push that. Okay, did it give you a sign or something that it was in? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. It, you're really close to that cone, so I don't want to put you in traffic, but I want to see if you can roll back. Because if that's the case, I'm going to take, I'm going to disconnect, and I'm going to have you get yourself out. So go ahead and uh, try to go in reverse a little bit. Go ahead and straighten up completely. Okay. Go ahead and go in reverse a little bit. Oh, okay. All right. Stop. I think you can get out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my stuff off and I'm gonna wait for a break in traffic and we're just gonna get you out and then I'm gonna have you pull right here, okay? So give me one second. Ah, man, not loosening it enough. 
So now that his drives are up on the pavement, should be able to power himself out here. We'll see. Ready to turn around. is put away. I'm gonna go talk to CHP, let them know my game plan here. I'll pull my truck forward. Hey, hold on one second, okay? Just making it clear that when I pull forward doesn't mean for him to go back. So I need to be coming in the track. Straight, 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 straight. Go ahead. 
Once you get on the pavement, then you can turn. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, now you can turn, now you can turn. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Other way, no, that's fine, you can pull forward. All right, go ahead and pull right here, okay? Keep going up, go up, go up, there you go.